I really like writing to silence and music. I mean, honestly, I love the variation. Mitch, who did the, Mitch Kaplan, who did the incredible music in this book, um, is here in the house playing gorgeous music all the time. And sometimes that's amazing to write to. And sometimes if he's working on something that is not amazing to write to, I put in the headphones and, you know, and play my Phoebe Bridgers Pandora channel, or sometimes white noise. Um, and sometimes I do really love writing to silence. It can go either way. I think sometimes if I'm struggling with writing, it's nice to have music. Because, and I especially like to have one song on repeat because then you're sort of hearing it, but you're also not hearing it. You've just, if you pick a mood, a song, a mood, that you want to be in and you're not having to listen to the words, it can just sort of propel you in a way that um, silence, sometimes there's like too much room. It's boundaries create freedom kind of idea with one song playing over and over again. And uh, I, I have a lot of embarrassing songs that uh, I've done that to. Um, and I can't think which one would be most embarrassing. I think there was a Taylor Swift song. Oh, uh, the, the, there's one, Taylor Swift has one about a thread. Um, the golden thread, the silver, the invisible thread. I think there's a, the invisible thread. And I love that idea. And even in terms of um, decision-making, as I was writing the invisible thread, that's like helping us make decisions. So she, you know, I wasn't listening to the whole song, but it was this idea of something that's connecting everything. And I think that is true about decision-making. And then sometimes it's just nice to just be like, there's nothing happening except for the birds and the crazy jackhammers outside and the, the Los Angeles sirens and noise of the noise of the city. So that's what I write too.